Real talk. Is this supposed to be what a gold digger sounds like? True North Review. True North Reviews. True North Review. Hey there, welcome to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we are discussing the Leon Bridges record, Gold Digger Sound. This is the third full-length project from American R&B and soul singer Leon Bridges. Album number three comes at a critical turning point in Leon's career. Of course, he had his humble beginnings dabbling in 50s and 60s R&B on the debut record. Many of the songs I would draw comparison to Sam Cooke. Exchanging the old-time sound on his sophomore efforts, Leon played around with some more modern gloss and groove on one of my favorite records from 2018. Good thing. But ensuring that Bridges doesn't repeat or make the same type of record a second time, Leon is evolving yet again on Gold Digger's sound, incorporating smoother jazz elements while rounding out a more consistent track list sonically that's a little more sensual too. The record begins on a spacious and truly gorgeous arrangement of keys and horns. This, of course, is the Robert Glasper collaboration on Born Again, and it's really one for the ages. I love the luxurious feel and sound the track goes for, the dynamic flourishes of each horn and the nuanced drum patterns all contribute to the runaway momentum that this track has to offer. Building up some steam, the subsequent cut motorbike rips its listeners with a lead melody that's like ear candy. It's also a very slick and sultry track really does make a song like Harley's in Hawaii by Katy Perry pale in comparison if we're strictly limiting ourselves to songs about motorbikes. Gold Digger Sound keeps its foot on the gas for the track Steam, yet another cut that goes down smooth like syrup. The Let Yourself In line is a great hook with its descending resolution, not to mention the dampened guitar tones that add some much needed variation to the track. Moving on, why Don't You Touch Me is the first moment on the record that sounds very modern. The instrumental could actually fit in quite nicely on the latest Zane record, I find. Sure, the lyrics are generic and the vocal performance leaves a little to be desired, but the song is still not misplaced on the record. It certainly deserves to be here. The same goes for the track Magnolias, as it exercises a trap-influenced beat. Again, very modern sounding. The verses on Magnolias are laced with subtle elements of brass horns, there is what is a fairly decent hook, and the instrumental is just the only part lacking some originality, but beyond that, the rest of the record fills in that void. There's a pretty interlude on Junior's fanfare. Sweeter is an essential social commentary on racism in America. Its nocturnal bass and drum combo is nothing short of incredible. Continuing with another highlight is the track Don't Worry. An instantly catchy hook can be found here, a beautiful duet also. And the length is easily warranted because of the captivating horn and guitar counter melodies, they might just make this my favorite track on the record as a whole. Now, similar to his previous record, Good Thing, Leon ends this record here with an intimate arrangement of keyboards, strings, and upright bass, even throwing in some congas. Again, just this strong sense of songwriting and ability to translate that into a beautiful performance. Overall, I absolutely love the new Leon Bridges record. It's not as instantly gratifying as the previous album in my opinion, but I'd still give it the benefit of the doubt. There's a very strong start and finish to the record, and I appreciate how Leon incorporates many different instruments to back him up. Now, the R&B on this record isn't too ambitious, it's not reinventing the wheel or anything, but it's certainly smooth with its instrumentals, it's gorgeous with its vocal performances, and it's great all around. Minus a couple duds in the middle portion of the record, maybe a redundancy here and there with details, but this is a solid entry for Leon continuing his winning streak of impressive releases to start his career. As for right now, I'm feeling an 8 out of 10 on this album. Make sure you guys sound off down below in the comments. Tell me what you guys think of this music, whether you agree or disagree. I'm here to engage with you guys. If you'd like to leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town. I'd appreciate that as always. Thanks for watching and have a rockin' day. Thank you.